This video shows the inspection technique, equipment, and procedure to conduct an on-wing ultrasonic inspection of the GENX-2B hydraulic fuel manifold. This inspection is utilized to detect localized circumferential cracking in the tube adjacent to the clamp near the stage 7 duct support bracket. The inspection is performed using a dedicated ultrasonic transducer to direct a 70 degree shear wave toward the expected area of interest. For specific cases where the procedure or equipment described in this video cannot be applied in total content, exceptions shall be obtained in writing from the appropriate technical function. Personnel Requirements Personnel performing this inspection shall be certified in accordance with NAS-410 or an approved local certification program. Equipment Requirements Inspection Kit Part Number GE-FQAP-712 An Approved Ultrasonic Instrument Initial Equipment Setup Connect the ultrasonic instrument to the appropriate power source and switch the instrument power on. Allow the instrument to warm up for at least 30 minutes or the manufacturer's recommended warm up time. Connect the BNC end of the coaxial cable to the ultrasonic instrument and the transducer to the other end of the coaxial cable. Adjust the ultrasonic instrument to the basic resettings in Table 1 of the inspection procedure. Pre-inspection part preparation. Locate the hydraulic fuel manifold and visually locate the area to be inspected. Observe the area for any foreign debris. If necessary, wipe with an approved solvent and cloth to remove any contaminants. Equipment calibration. Apply a liberal amount of Couplant to the calibration standard on the tube in front of the plastic transducer stop. Place the transducer on the calibration standard and slide it towards the transducer stop until it stops. Rotate the transducer slowly around the standard, keeping it against the stop until the response from the EDM notch is detected and maximize the response. With the peak amplitude from the response displayed, adjust the instrument gain until the response from the EDM notch is at an amplitude of 80% of full screen height. Using the instrument's range control, position the leading edge of the response at 5.0 on the horizontal baseline. Rotate the transducer back and forth around the calibration standard to confirm that the response from the EDM notch is at 80% full screen height and the leading edge of the signal is at 5.0 on the horizontal baseline. When the calibration is complete, record the instrument settings on the inspection data sheet. Inspection. For clarity, a tabletop demonstration of this procedure is also shown. Locate the area to be inspected and apply a liberal amount of glycerin. Place the transducer on the hydraulic fuel manifold tube and slide it toward the clamp near the stage 7 duct support bracket until the end of the wedge is up against the edge of the clamp. With the transducer up against the clamp, Rotate the probe, making sure that the area of braze is covered. Monitor the instrument for indications in the gate which equal or exceed 40% of full screen height. Rotate the transducer around the tube two to four times to make sure the entire braze region is inspected. This can be accomplished by rotating the transducer circumferentially in both directions until the physical limits of the transducer are reached. Evaluate any indication that is equal to or exceeds 40% percent 
full screen height and in the gated region of the ultrasonic instrument display as outlined in the evaluation section. Upon completion of the inspection area, document the results on the inspection data sheet. Calibration check. A calibration check shall be performed upon completion of each inspection. Apply couplant to the calibration standard. Place the transducer on the calibration standard and peak the response from the EDM notch. If the response from the EDM is 80% plus or minus 10% of full screen height, the calibration check is acceptable. If the amplitude from the EDM notch has decreased and is below 70%, the system must be recalibrated and all hardware inspected since the last acceptable calibration must be re-inspected. If the notch response has increased and is above 90%, the system must be recalibrated prior to inspection of additional hardware and any rejected hardware must be re-inspected. Indication Evaluation Any indication that equals or exceeds 40% and is in the gated region of the instrument display shall be evaluated as follows. Verify that the calibration system is acceptable to the requirements of the calibration section. Clean the inspection area where the transducer seats with an approved solvent and wipe. Repeat the inspection as described in the inspection section. If the indication repeats and is equal to or larger than 40%, the indication shall be considered valid. This concludes the video demonstration of this inspection technique. Please consult with your local GE representative or the appropriate service bulletin should any question arise about this procedure.